During sixth form, it's very common for people to have doubts about getting high grades for A-level maths. And people would ask themselves, yo, am I actually good enough to get an A or an A-star for A-level maths? And honestly, the short answer, yes, you are absolutely capable of getting high grades for A-level maths. And here are two reasons why. The first sign is that you've clicked on this video already that screams that you want to do well and that you actually care already that means you're motivated to do well the second sign is that you're enrolled to do a level math the fact that you're enrolled to do a level maths is a madness and it screams that you have the ability to do extremely well and teachers who let you be enrolled see that in you as well. Otherwise, they wouldn't let you study A-level maths in the first place. In addition to those two signs, I do believe that there are two more important things that you need to consider if you want to do uh, as best as you can for A-level maths. And from experience, that is having organization and having a routine. Let's quickly talk about organization. Straight up from my experience, that would be a, have a neat folder. Secondly, understand your specification. And thirdly, for organization, have a list of exam papers that you need to do and tick them off as you do it throughout the year so you can see how much work you've actually done. Now with that in mind, let's talk about routine. My first advice would be to find time for deep work, i.e. work where there are no distractions, there's no BS, it's just you focusing on what it is you've got to get done. Secondly, is to be flexible with your revision time. Have a decent idea of how many hours you want to dedicate a to A-level maths every single week and also consider your other A-level subjects as well. For me, I spend an average about seven hours per week on maths. The real reason you want to be flexible with your revision time is because of deadlines and if you're like most of us, right, you're definitely going to fall behind in some of your subjects. So you want to make time for catching up with your weaknesses. And lastly, ask for help. Revision doesn't have to be on your own. Make it a routine to maybe revise with your friends or revise with somebody who knows what they're doing. Revise with the hard workers in your class or hard workers in your sixth form in general. Being surrounded by people who want high grades, who want to get into those prestigious universities, it definitely changes your mindset and it does make you want to put in that work. If you're surrounded by five idiots, you'll be the sixth. If you're surrounded by five lazy people, you'll be the six. If you surround yourself with five people who are dedicated to work hard for A-levels, guess what? You will be the six. Those are my top tips for organization and routine. But most importantly, I want you to reassure yourself that you've honestly got this. I can't believe in you more than you believe in yourself. You have to you know, embrace yourself and to really visualize your success. After you've watched this video, you know what? You know, start that revision, you know? You, I don't know what you're studying for pure maths right now. You could be doing, you could be struggling on something on stats, some mechanics, some decisions, some something on pure, like whatever it is, you know you've got gaps in your learning. So use this time wisely, you know what I mean? Like all the best with your revision and I'll see you next Monday in the next video. Safe. If you want more information and tips, I've made two videos in regards to doing well for A-level maths. The first video is more of a story about how I raised my U to an A. And if you want to feel more motivated or inspired to put in that work, I do recommend you watch that video. I also tell you how I got the job done. The second video is pretty much the same as the first video, but it's structured in a more step-by-step -step guide. And I go into more detail with what I actually did.